This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this is an update from London in relation to things that were happening around the city while everybody was distracted with the Euro final. In the Hackney area of East London, the Violent Suppression Unit from Hackney Police discovered 11 weapons during calls of a disturbance in the local area. We received footage of males wielding weapons in the street and hurling abuse at other people. And this was shortly before the armed police turned up and made the discoveries. Some of these are from films and there is a big outrage online with a lot of people saying the Instagram pages are selling these weapons to teenagers. When I seen this picture at first, I thought this was from a house raid because these weapons are immaculate and they've even got branding on them still as well. And definitely worrying to any parent to think that this could be used on their child on the streets of London. So there is no news coverage on that. There was just one statement from the Metropolitan Police. And in some other news as well, yesterday in northwest London, in Cricklewood, a group of motorcyclists actually chased down two men that were drunk and driving a van down the wrong way on a street. They crashed into cars and actually injured a motorcyclist as well. And they jumped inside the van and removed the men from this vehicle. So initially, some people were thinking that this was violence and the men in the motorcycles were in the wrong. But in reality, there was actually trying to stop these men from potentially hurting somebody. There had been reports that they were driving around drunk and under the influence throughout the day in the Holston area. So fair play to these motorcyclists that come together to try to stop these men potentially killing somebody or hurting themselves as well. Also footage has emerged via UK crime in London about a stop in Uxbridge area where several police were seen restraining a man on the floor using knees and punches as well. Some people have spoken out about the way that this was done and criticised it but there has been no official statement from the police in relation to this arrest or the context. Calm down, yeah? All of you, calm the fuck down now. I've seen it, love, don't you worry. Yeah, coppers, calm down, he's a fucking kid, yeah? Mate, I've seen it, yeah? He's a fucking kid. Oi! Oi, copper! What are you doing, mate? 
you doing? What are you doing, mate? Bang out of order. And after two fatal stabbings of teenagers in the past week, there has been another in Thornton Heath. On Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock, on the 9th of July, police were called to South London Hospital to a male suffering stab wounds. He was taken to hospital by a member of the public. Officers established that the 16-year-old was stabbed a short time earlier in Bensham Manor Road near Swain Road in Thornton Heath. The boy sadly died on his way to hospital. His next of kin have been informed and specialist police officers are supporting them at this time. Homicide detectives are working with the Metropolitan Crime Command that have been informed and and a post-mortem examination is taking place. No arrests have been made as of yet, and the acting detective sergeant Helen Ailing said, Our thoughts and prayers go to the victim's family, and we believe that the victim was involved in an altercation with two men on a moped before this attack happened, and no arrests have been made yet, and police are going through CCTV and security footage from the area at around 3pm. And this comes just days after there have been several charges now in relation to the murder that occurred in Woolwich New Road, South London. Three teenagers have been charged, two of them are 14 and 15 years old. One has been charged with attempted murder and possession of a blade and a 17 year old was arrested and charged with murder and attempted murder and they are appearing at Bromley Magistrates Court on Monday the 12th of July. The charges relate to the stabbing that took place on the 5th of July at 5.23 when police were called to reports of a stabbing on Woolwich New Road. He found 15-year-old Tabby in Habi Manor and he suffered a single stab wound and he died later on after the ambulance arrived. A second 15-year-old presented himself at a nearby hospital with stab wounds relating to that attack. So that definitely goes to show how quick these cases get solved as well and the fact that you're just not going to get away with it. It's actually devastating to see so many families in such a short space of time that have lost so many kids. So I really appreciate you joining me for this brief update and a big reminder that don't forget what is happening on the streets just because of big events that are occurring around the country. So rest in peace to the teenagers that have lost their lives and we'll definitely keep you updated on anything to do with these stories. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.